Jermaine Taylor is once again the IBF middleweight champion of the world. I, I wish I'd have known he was an underdog going into the fight. I have been so busy, I have not paid any attention to what was going on. Seriously. And because of that, we now have a new IBF champion. I knew Taylor was going to win the fight. He's got trial next Wednesday for shooting his cousin. But I'm like, uh, so what is he going to do with the title? He going to take it to jail with him? Uh, but Al Heyman is definitely setting up something big for middleweight. Hmm. Do I smell Peter Quillen versus <laughs> Jermaine Taylor for a middleweight championship? Do you know the one that he uh, vacated? I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> he was the WBO champion. Now Taylor's the IBF. We know he's not going to fight Gennady Golovkin. He was the WBA champion. Cotto's got the WBC. But we all know Miguel Cotto is the lineal middleweight champion of the world, having just one middleweight fight, beating the middleweight champion of the world, who is Sergio Martinez. See Montoya? See how it simple it works? Years later, now you see what lineal means. So when Floyd beat Bolomir, he became the lineal welterweight champion of the world. Now you see how it makes sense. You beat the man who happens to be the man. That that was it. But you might not have liked it, but Bolomir beat the man. And he was the lineal welterweight champion of the world. I mean, I'm, my education level of educating you throughout the years, I'm quite sure now it all makes sense. Once Miguel Cotto wins against Sergio Martinez, now it makes sense. But status-wise, status Cotto is truly the middleweight champion of the world. Now, would I love to see him go after Gennady Golovkin and all these fights? You're never going to see that happen. Um, that would be the end of Miguel Cotto's career if he was to fight Golovkin. Um, that fight doesn't generate enough money or interest for Miguel, which is the reason why this era is the way it is. And they all blame Mayweather, but the truth of the matter is all the fighters are doing this. How many fights you've seen you, from the littlest fights, from lightweights to the welterweights, people... No, no, no money. I'm no. I get more money if I fight this guy. He's got a bigger name. From Marquez to Cotto to everybody you can think of, they are all doing the same thing. But they want to call Mayweather a cherry picker. You know. Okay. But he fought everybody you requested him to fight except for Manny Pacquiao because Pacquiao did not take the offer here's another fact somebody brought up Tim Bradley's name but I'll answer you on another separate video I don't want to go into that let's keep this about Jermaine Taylor he's the middleweight championship what's next for him Peter Quillen Duh. And, you know, they, they're they greasing him up and finna feed him to Peter Quillen. Now, Peter Quillen's going to have an IBF title, and now he's back in the mix for a Gennady Golovkin fight or whatever else is on the plateau. Well, I won't say Peter Quillen just yet. The winner between him and Danny Jacobs will get that shot. Let's do it that way. Alright, I'm gone. Y'all tell me what you think.